Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Well, here it is, the last day of February already. I mean, where did it go? Well, while you ponder that, I also encourage you to stay with us here for a real goodie. It's a movie that was one of the sleepers of 1949, and by sleeper, I don't mean it put people to sleep. I refer to the Hollywood definition of the word. A sleeper is a movie that was made without fanfare and with no particular anticipation, and which caught the industry sleeping by turning out to be really good and a major box office hit. And so it was with this next film, The Window. The Window was made at RKO on a minimal budget with a cast of very good people who were nonetheless not exactly box office names. And when it opened, people talked about it everywhere and they went to see it. It's based on the old folk tale about the boy who cried wolf. In the movie, a kid living in a Manhattan tenement sees a murder take place, but he's told so many tall tales before no one will listen to his story, except the people who committed the crime, and therefore have reason to want to get rid of the little boy. Bobby Driscoll plays the boy. He was borrowed from Walt Disney for this movie, and you'll recognize Bobby if you've seen such Disney films as Song of the South and So Dear to My Heart. Mom and Dad in the film are Barbara Hale and Arthur Kennedy, the two killers, two more good actors, Paul Stewart and Ruth Roman. The one sad thing about this movie is that the man who nurtured it and produced it, Frederick Ullman Jr., died just before the film was released, and he never knew he had made a genuine movie classic. Here it is from 1949, The Window. Bobby Driscoll, who played the boy so wonderfully, had a great career as a child actor, but a very sad life as an adult. He had one of the really troubled lives, as a matter of fact. And in 1968, after several brushes with the law and after problems with drugs, he was found dead by two little boys playing in a deserted tenement. Bobby Driscoll was 31 years old at the time. There was a much happier second act for Barbara Hale, who plays his mother in the window. She's gone on to have a very successful marriage to actor Bill Williams, and she had a long career in television as Della on the Perry Mason series. This film, The Window, also helped turn Ruth Roman, who played Jean, Mrs. Kellerson, into a genuine movie star. She was immediately signed to a Warner Brothers contract and remained a Warner Brothers star for the next several years. Ruth Roman. Right now, though, roll back the rug and get ready to waltz. The Great Waltz is next.